All right, hopping back into it. Let's take a look at the top recruiting classes in the nation. The ACC champs, the Miami Hurricane, they have the number one recruiting class, six five stars, four uh, 13 four stars, followed by Ohio State, Florida State, Texas, national champs, Georgia, Michigan State, followed by Vanderbilt. Yes, y'all, we have the uh, number seven ranked recruiting class we bringing in five three stars i mean wow three five stars seven four stars and nine three stars for a total of 19 man uh we pretty much pretty much how i did recruiting man we was able to get a lot of these kids based upon our uh defensive side of the ball for the whole season we put up some astronomical numbers so I rode that momentum all the way into off-season recruiting. So um, before we get into that, um, the players, it was just some of them was hard to get, some of them was easy to get. Um, but anyway, we got a uh, USC number eight, followed by Texas Tech and uh, Penn State, the Big Ten champ. I'm just gonna do the top ten. But Penn State got crapped out of a national title shot. So uh, it is what it is with them, man. But um, here's the class. We got uh, James Kramer out of Ohio. He's the number two ranked middle linebacker, 6'1", 236 pounds. Now, I was able to get a lot of these cats just based upon certain positions on defense that, I mean, certain kids were balling at. But um, here's his attributes. Discipline is poor. I don't like that. Y'all know that. But he runs a 4-5 in the 40. Field awareness is an A plus, which I always try to get players that has at least a B plus or better in field awareness. But um other than that, man, I'm looking for big things with him in season two. Uh he is a blue chip uh player, so um you know, this was a good pickup, man. Ohio State probably, you know, upset about it, but they'll be over it. Then we got uh, Michael Roberts. He coming out of Ohio, too. He's the number one ranked strong safety in the nation. 6'2", 202 pounds. Discipline poor. He runs a 4'5", and field awareness, again, is an A+. Followed by his hands at an A+. So I'm looking for big things from him, too, because he has to feel... Uh, John Rector shoes who pretty much uh, graduated so uh, then we got a uh, Jason Porter the number three outside middle linebacker 6'2 230 uh, he runs a 4'6 field awareness is an A plus but hands ain't that good also his discipline it was poor also but um I'm gonna see man can we keep these boys out of trouble so um We'll just have to see. I don't know where I'm going to put him in to the lineup, but um, I can't let all these cats just sit on the bench. So um, I'll have to see, man. Um, it's going to be tough because we got um, Espinosa coming back, and I'm not going to redshirt him this season. I'm going to let him go ahead and play. I'll probably redshirt him next season, and I may – I may red shirt one or two of these guys coming in because, uh, as y'all will see, man, I brought in a ton of strong safeties. Um, a lot of them signed, and I didn't even know it. This guy right here is the number 13 ranked strong safety coming out of Texas. Fofo, field awareness is an A+. Plus. So, I brought in a lot of safeties. Um, a lot of them signed, and I didn't know it. Like, when you do the week progress in recruiting because you got five weeks, if you still have points left, the computer or uh, sign, you know, a person that has interest in the school. So, um, I had a lot of safeties interested in coming. But we need them because I play a 3-3-5. So, at any given time, I could have five safeties on the field at the same time, followed by, you know, the cornerback. So, um, it's not a real big, deep class, as you can see. Uh, like, the in-season recruiting, during the season, I like to pick up offensive players. And uh, at the end of the season, I try to fill up the voids with defensive players. But sometimes it don't all work that way. So, um... This is the class right here. 
I did manage to get one cornerback. Um, no, I lied. I brought in a couple of them. I think I brought in like three or four. So um, it is what it is. All right, y'all. So that's going to wrap up off season pretty much i was gonna include the spring game but um i decided not to so um next game coming up man um season two man so i hope to see y'all there till next time peace